Good afternoon. Welcome to the CTAI stand. My name's Heather Beebe and I'm the new managing director of the company. I work for BA Systems and I'm seconded to CTAI because we are a joint venture between BA Systems and KNDS in France. So we're showcasing our 40mm cased telescope ammunition system because we are vested in that system. It's going into service with the British Army and the French Army at the moment and we are delighted to bring this to Euro, Euro Saturday this year. Okay, so our primary, our primary purpose of being here this year is to really talk a lot about the system going into service. This is, we have taken 30 years to develop this system and we are now at a really pivotal place in our engineering competence, the system maturity, and because we're going into service, we're getting a lot of feedback for how effective and capable the system is. Our users love it. So we want to bring all of that expertise and that feedback to the market and our aim is to grow our company and grow our user base. So we currently have two users, the French and the British. We want to have six users in our family. That's our big ambition and that's why we're here. Here is the range of the 40 city ammunition family. And then we've got a wide range of capacity here that we propose. I would start with the penetrators. We've got two penetrators. One is the subcaliber dart, uh, really effective against tough armored vehicles. And the other one is uh, just a simple kilogram of steel, but very efficient against barricades and uh, buildings, even light armored vehicles. They're very useful because it's an inert round. Then you can also propose that capacity in the naval domain where you can fire in our rounds just for police statement. The two next are HE rounds. We've got here a two HEs. One is the with the rear fuse, then very efficient on concrete. The second one is a time programmable airburst uh, HE. You can address targets such as uh, troops on the ground or snipers hidden by rocks or buildings, etc. That's very, very efficient. Again, again also when you're on a direct firing, you can't address those troops uh, that are in trenches. With the airburst, you can do this. And the, the other airburst ammunition is kinetic energy airburst. Instead of having a payload of HE, you've got the payload of pellets of tungsten. It's like acting like a shotgun in front of the target, uh, such as drones, uh, airplanes, helicopters, cruising missiles, etc. Then the range of active ammunition. I would like to compare this a 40 CT rounds to the conventional medium calibers, such as uh, this big one, he's the conventional 40 millimeter version. The concept of telescope technology was to, to compress the projectile inside the cartridge, surrounded by the propellant and making a 40 millimeter a firepower, but in the compactness of roughly the 30 millimeter uh, 173, even a bit shorter, uh, but definitely four times more powerful compared to uh, these rounds. Obviously the gun is, cannot be the same than a conventional gun. And this case telescope gun is very dedicated to the ammunition family I've just introduced. Uh, what is interesting is the introductor part of the cannon is really fixed into the turret and the turret integrators knows very well what are the constraints in terms of integration. We've got a very wide open arc of elevation of 85 degrees that is capable to address the land domain as well as the air domain. The full case telescope armament system, as it is named, is uh, composed of the cannon. Then you can introduce the run like this, just putting the run inside, and the system will load automatically inside the ammunition landing system. And this ammunition landing system is driven automatically through the, the panels that are uh, uh, inside the turret and the user can just select the ammunition he wants and the system is like a vending machine will bring the right ammunition to, the, to fight against the right target.